What's up guys? It's a gloomy day outside, rainy, and I decided why not to film a video where I try to look as good as I wish I could on daily basis. I'm excited, so let's start it. I start by applying tinted primer. By the way, this transformation was inspired by all the cool ABG makeup transformations I've seen lately, but I'm not really Asian, so I don't think I can name this video an ABG transformation, or maybe I am. Honestly, I don't really know, because I'm from Azerbaijan and it's in both Asia and Europe, so it's very confusing. I always get stuck when I'm asked uh, whether I'm European or Asian or Middle Eastern, because I really don't know. Or maybe I'm just stupid, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, once I finished with my primer, I moved to my regular concealer routine, that one product that I can't live without. By the way guys, if you're bored in quarantine like the rest of us, I got you. You should really watch the Roman Empire documentary on Netflix if you like history and shows like Game of Thrones. It's very similar, but it's based on actual events, which is really interesting. And I personally loved it. So if you know anything similar, let me know in the comments because I have nothing to watch anymore. Then after I conceal all my blemishes, I apply contouring. I use NARS palette and I really love that they have so many different colors. So first I just contour my cheekbones, then I like to blend it with a big brush because I like my contouring to look as natural as possible. After that, I take a lighter brown color and a fluffy brush and I lightly apply it all over my face to kind of give it a more bronzed look. Then I go ahead and do the nose contouring to visually slim my nose. The closer you draw these two lines, the more narrow your nose will look. I also like to blend it with my fingertips, kind of like tap on it until it looks natural. Then I use my new favorite blush from Laura Mercier in color peach. By the way, I always confuse words blush and brush. If I ever don't say it right, don't get confused because it's a big struggle for me to pronounce it right. But I'm really trying. After that, I apply an eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. Then I also use this um, palette from Urban Decay. And no, this is not sponsored. I just got this one and I really wanted to try it out. So I start with the lightest color and I apply it all over my lid. Then I add this yellowish color to my crease and outer corners of my eyes. Then I apply dark brown eyeshadow as if it's an eyeliner. And then I take a bigger brush, apply slightly lighter brown color and start blending it all together. This helps to make my eye look more like a cat eye. I also apply golden color to my inner corners and under my brow. Then using a black pencil, I'm drawing little lines in the inner corners of my eyes. I've been doing this for a long time, but I noticed that this is a big trend right now. People mostly like to draw it very sharply and noticeable, but I like to blend it and make it look as natural as possible. Both ways are cool, just depends what you prefer. I also like to apply a little bit to my waterline, just from the outer corner to the center. Otherwise, it would make my eyes look small and this way it looks more like foxy eyes. Then I apply black eyeliner. I really need to get the new one because this one is almost finished and I'm like trying to make the best out of it. As for the brows, I decided to go with this natural model look. So I just brushed them first. Then I apply clear brow gel and brush them upwards. And lastly, to kind of fix the shape, I just apply brow shadow to the spots where I have no hair. By the way, extending your brows upwards is a really good alternative to shaving them for the cat eye look. Then I apply this really cute lipstick. I feel like this color makes my makeup look more edgy and badass. So the next step to look like a total baddie is to straighten my hair. I feel like wavy hair makes me look more like a cute girl rather than a badass. So I've got to do what I got to do. But I'm too lazy to do my whole head. So I'll just do the parts that are visible to you guys. Then I decided to add some freckles. I don't know why, I just felt like it. And then I also added orangey color from my Venus palette. I think this makes the whole eye makeup stand out more. Next step um, that I'm very excited for are tattoos. Yay! Not gonna lie, I love how it looks. This gave such a boost to my confidence, I don't know why. Lastly, I wanted to experiment and added some colored contacts. I actually didn't plan to make it two different colors, I just couldn't choose and I decided, fuck it, let me have both, right? Let me know what you guys think, which eye color suits this makeup better in your opinion? So that's it guys, tell me how did you like this makeup and the whole transformation, let me know in the comments and if you have any wishes for future videos, also do let me know. Don't forget to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.